hello welcome in how is my volume it's a little low i should speak up how are you doing my camera is plugged in and working that's because it's not the camera that i took with me on the trip proyecto kaliu saluton welcome in bon venon it's a music day today. Normally, Wednesday is a gaming day, but I had so much fun on Sunday streaming on Claire Picks stream. Can we get a shout out for Claire Picks really quickly? Um, I was doing music with Claire and it put me in the music mood. So we're having extra music streams this week and I'm really excited about it. Proyecto Kaliu is an Esperanto streamer let me rephrase that. An Esperanto speaking streamer who streams in, he speaks Spanish and English and Esperanto and I, not Andalusian. Definitely not Andalusian. Help me out here. Proyecto Caliu Catalan, but there was, wasn't, was there another one? Many languages. So, um, a voice actor, top notch, top notch. Um, so new friend to our stream, very happy to meet them. Valencian. Valencian and Catalan are the same. Yes, um, I also um, have not actually made it all the way through the VOD yet because I'm watching it with my parents. So we got through more than half of it before Claire's stream on Tuesday. Um, Wow, okay. I'm learning things. Thank you so much, Kaliu. I love it. That's great. Okay, guys, I have a couple of new songs on my streamer song list. Now, if you look at the new button, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there that looks brand new because I was experimenting with Claire's list over the last few weeks to see how many things did I think of hers that I thought mm, maybe I could play this. So there's a whole bunch of technically new stuff on there. Um, okay, so there's a meaning behind it. I will look forward to learning more about that um, from you. Because um, I have an interest in the politics of that region. Um, and I would like to know the things that are to be known. I appreciate your information. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe I'll learn about it sometime on your stream or, or sometime on an Esperanto stream, perhaps. Um, but I feel like getting straight into the music today. I don't know how you guys are feeling, um, but we are in the music category today, and um, and my camera is a little high. That's maybe a bit better. We'll see when I get the ukulele out if you can see it or not. All right. So, um... It's not that I'm running away from sad things because I sing a ton of sad songs um, in the stream, but uh, <laughs> musics. So yes, uh, I guess I need to paste the list. This is the link I need. It depends on the weather and what I'm wearing, usually blue. And I think that list will, that link will work to go to my song list. So um, today, um, just a normal music stream. And then on Friday, 
I'm going to do a music stream in Esperanto. So if you click on that link, you will see there is a little flag that is green with a white field in the corner with a green star. And that's the Esperanto flag. And all of the songs on that section of the list are going to be the ones that I'm going to be singing from that section, like any requests from that section on Friday. But for today, anything and probably I'm going to be... Um, if, if other people don't pick songs, then I'm probably going to be picking some from the newer section of, of it. Um, so yeah, let's start out with um, a brand new song that I stuck on the list last night. This is definitely in still learning mode. But um, this is a song by Pink Martini called Je ne veux pas travailler. I don't want to go to work. Um, let's see here, are my tabs. You like Pink Martini? They're so much fun. Um, I really love Pamplemousse's cover of this Pink Martini tune, though, because um, Natalie grew up speaking French. She's American, she's Californian, but she was educated in Brussels, I think. So she went to school speaking French and her accent is presque parfait. So it's beautiful to hear. But this song was written for an English speaking audience, um, not written for a French audience, even though it's written in French. If it were written for a French audience, um, I'm told by one of my French musician friends, it would have rhyming in it. And there is no rhyming and my shoulder strap is unbelievably twisted up and tangled and I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Please untangle yourself, shoulder strap. Okay, is that okay now? It's better, yes, okay. Isn't it fun? I wanted to hang it upside down, um, but given the furniture, it would have been like the most colorful section would have been literally behind the furniture instead of on the wall. And I wanted color on the wall, so I had to give up on my idea of hanging it upside down. I just, I wanted to do that thing. <laughs> because who says north is up? The G minor I'm not so familiar with. Ma chambre a la forme d'une cage. Le soleil passe son bras par la fenêtre. Les chasseurs à ma porte comme les petits soldats qui veulent me prendre. Je ne veux pas travailler. Je ne veux pas déjeuner, je veux seulement oublier, et puis je fume. Déjà, déjà j'ai connu le parfum de l'amour, un million de roses ne m'ponnerait pas autant. Maintenant, une seule fleur dans mes entourages me rend. Malade. Je ne veux pas travailler, non, je ne veux pas déjeuner, je veux seulement oublier, et puis je fume. Je ne suis pas fier de ça. Vie qui veut me tuer, c'est 
c'est magnifique Être sympathique Mais je ne le connais jamais Je ne veux pas travailler Je ne veux pas déjeuner Non, je veux seulement oublier Et puis je fume Je ne suis pas pas fier de sa vie qui veut me tuer c'est magnifique être sympathique mais je ne le connais jamais je ne veux pas travailler je ne veux pas déjeuner je veux seulement oublier et puis je fume. There we go. I forgot to hit auto scroll, but hey, our newest, newest song, Je ne veux pas travailler by Pink Martini. Love that group. Um, my pronunciation is definitely not as good as Natalie of Pamplemousse, but I'm working on it. I'm hoping to add more songs in French to my list. Gradually, j'ose d'assin, mais oui, j'ai une chanson de Joe d'assin dans ma liste. I've got a Joe Dassin. Oh my gosh. Streamer song list, why are you like this? Sometimes streamer song list will not permit backspace in the search field. Has that ever happened to you? Um, I swear I have Joe Dassin. But I'm having trouble finding it. Okay, maybe it's a song that I know that's not actually on my song list. See, this is how things get added to the song list. Thank you for the suggestion, Proyecto Caliu. I'm going to search up. Uh, Champs Elysees. Um, and I'm going to add it to my streamer song list here. New song. It's possible that it's there but turned off let me click the show inactive button just in case um, nope it's not there create new song oh Sean, Sean, say, say I'll deal with accents later Joe <laughs> Active attributes, international, create, boom, uh, edit, advanced, add the tabs, and add it to the queue. Um, my cue is not showing up here, which means I've done something wrong. Boom! There it is! Yay! Thank you to I Feel It In The Water for helping me create that. Um, all right. Let's do this one. I have two entries. 
Are they both in... Because I searched it up. Is the other one down Waterloo Road, though? Because sometimes when I have a song in multiple languages, I have separate entries for them, and sometimes I don't, and I need to figure that out eventually. Um, because I ran into that on Sunday, where it would have been more convenient if it had all been on one page. Um, but for today, I think maybe my situation is that I have down Waterloo Road. Because I did a search for Auchan's Elysee, and I did a search for Joe Dessin, and nothing came back, even when I searched for inactive songs. So I don't know. I don't know, but I know that I know the song, sort of. <laughs> Okay. We got it. But we need a tune. Something is not quite right. Okay. All right. Sur... Oh, that's too fast. Je me baladais sur l'avenue, le cœur ouvert à la connu. J'avais envie de dire bonjour à n'importe qui. Maybe it's still too fast. It's really my fingers that are having the most trouble here. N'importe qui, ce fut toi, je t'ai dit n'importe quoi. Il suffisait de te parler pour t'apprivoiser. Oh, auto scroll. Oh, what a scroll. Oh, Charles Elysee. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, soleil sur la pluie. À midi ou à minuit, il y a tout ce que vous voulez. Oh, Charles Elysee. Tu m'as dit j'ai rendez-vous dans un sous-sol avec des fous qui vivent la guitare à la main du soir au matin. Alors je t'ai accompagné, on a chanté, on a dansé, et l'on n'a même pas pensé à s'embrasser. It's not auto scrolling fast enough. Oh, Champs Élysées. Oh, Champs Élysées. Oh, soleil sur la pluie. À midi ou à minuit, il y a tout ce que vous voulez. Oh, Champs Élysées. Hier soir, deux inconnus et ce matin sur l'avenue, deux amoureux, tout est tourné par leur longue nuit. Et de la toile à la concorde, d'une orchestre à mille codes, tous les oiseaux du point du jour chantent l'amour. Scrolling. Oh, Champs Élysées, pantalon. Champs Élysées, Oh, soleil sur la pluie, à midi ou à minuit, il y a tout ce que vous voulez. Oh, Champs Élysées. <muches> Okay, I think the camera's still too high. Thank you for that request. I'm going to try and stretch a little bit in between occasional songs and take off the ukulele occasionally and just... Be mindful of self-care because I only got four hours of sleep last night. And you would think that the solution would be coffee, and I have a coffee here. 
Mi ne konas čin, said projekto Kaliju. Ču vi povus meti ligilon al YouTube video en la discordo esta speciala loko por proponi kantojn um, kiujn vi supozas ke mi povus profiti de la por konigi ami la kantojn. Ĉu ne? Nur kaliu? Nur kaliu kio? Mm? Eh? Kio? Um, and if you got that reference, you're a mid to old school Esperanto speaker of American extraction. Or, no, actually, maybe maybe not. It's maybe just as popular in Brazil. Never mind. Um, checking my cue. I can check that as played. I did it. Nate. Diru al mi. Ah! <laughs> ok. <laughs> mi comprenas. Kaliu. Bone. Uh, song suggestions. That's what it's called. This is why I have wonderful mods who can do the brain thing and remember things and say words and all that wonderful stuff. Thank you so much, Kudstilatsio. I appreciate it. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, I just am so confused by my song list right now because one of the songs that I added to the song list actually wasn't a new addition. It was something that I had added a little while ago and had put on inactive because I was like, I'm going to learn this song. And I've spent the last week learning the song to a certain extent, right? Um, I'm ready to try. But last night, I swear to you, I went in and I activated it. But it's not activated. It's still inactive. So how do I fix that? Edit, active, save. Maybe I activated it and didn't click save. All right. So, at this moment, as of just one second ago, the brand newest song, is that a word, in my song list is The Winner Takes It All by ABBA. Um, big feels. Are we ready for big feels or do we want if if you want a song that does not have really big big feels in it then put something in the request a song for my song list and put it in the queue right now because otherwise otherwise i'm going to sing a song with big feels you are warned you have been warned um i'm sticking it in the queue you still have a chance to supersede it <laughs> All right, everybody's leaving it up to me today. I need my glasses. Where are they? They're over here. All right, these glasses are not to help me read better. These glasses are to keep my eyes from getting too tired. And especially when I am short on sleep, they help a lot, a lot with eye fatigue just blue blocking. That's it. That's all it is. All right. Um, 404. No. Oh, I see what I've done wrong. Okay. I think it's the ultimate guitar that I like best for this one. I had two of them and I just pasted the whole darn thing. That does not, that's not how the internet works. Okay. I have to remember that the second D is actually a D7. Nighty, I think it was Nighty, it might have been Claire, I think it was Nighty, told me that if I make an account on ultimateguitar.com, it's 
not necessarily pro access. Making an account and buying pro access evidently are two different things. And that if I make an account, I can make my own version of tabs. And there are so many tabs where I'm like, yeah, it's close, but that's not quite right. Like they wrote this word wrong here or that that chord is fine all the way through until you get to the fifth verse and all of a sudden they've substituted some other chord that's totally not the chord. Um, or in this case, like they just have a slightly simpler version than I'd like to play. Um, so the chords are G, D, A minor, D. Um, and that's very nice. I mean, that's not all the chords, but that's like the verse. But it's also a little nice if you say G, D, A minor, D7. So the way it's written, I'm just going to have to remember that. Nighty is here. Hello. It's free to edit and then save as personal. Nighty, you are the best. You guys, I can't tell you how much Nighty did to help what's the word that my very sleepy brain is trying to remember facilitate is the word that i am looking for um do re mi ah uh, okay i don't think chords are named as do re mi are they L note notes but not chords i don't know how chords are named in that system i did learn the solfege system when i was a kid um but I'm at least I've got my uh, my camera set up so that you can see what the, the fingers are doing. So if you're if you're familiar, another thing I could do if you'd like um, is put the tabs up on the screen. But you know what? You all have access to it. All you have to do is click on the link to my streamer song list, and then you can go into it. Um, I would love, Nighty, it is, it is a big, big dream of mine to sing with you. Um, let me go back to what I was saying before. Nighty did so much to facilitate my collab with Claire, which was a humongous dream come true. Claire is made of magic and singing with her was so amazing. Um, and Nighty did so much on the back end to make everything like we didn't even like you saw how we just walked into the situation and everything clicked and worked that was because nighty did a whole bunch of stuff in the background to make that able to happen um ma mod magic um and now nighty's promising me lab cat <sighs> nighty oh my goodness um, whew. she, she's pulling out the big guns. <laughs> um, cats, the cats at Claire's were a big draw as if Claire wasn't enough of a draw already, but the cats also, I, I needed some cat love and, and I got some cat love. It was wonderful. Would someone be willing to, uh, uh would a mod be willing to post a link to the clip of the kitten in Claire's hand. I think this was like maybe the second clip that she put in her announcements channel in Discord. Um, so yeah, Nighty is amazing. Nighty streams music and mostly music. Um, and oh, Nighty knows me. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nighty. Please tell me whether or not I'm crazy, because I think I'm crazy. My brain keeps telling me that we have met IRL, and I think my brain is lying to me, and it's just the intensity of the parasocial relationship is such that my brain believes it's it's an IRL thing, like we've, we actually know each other, like my brain feels like we actually know each other, <laughs> but we haven't met in real life yet. Or you have, no, 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 not twin, not somebody who looks like 90, actually 90. But no, it, it has not happened, but I think it is destined to happen at some point. I think it is. I feel that way. Okay, guys, um, this is a really big emotions song and 
And like it could be sung as a big belt or it could be sung quietly. Every, uh, guys, I just watched a video last night um, about doppelgangers, twin strangers. And because we have like social media and everybody has photos of themselves, um, some some scientist in Britain decided they wanted to study how similar are some of these doppelgangers. And some of them are as similar as actual twins. Um, and others f found out that they were actually related on the order of like fourth cousins or something like that. Even though they were from different parts of the world, they were actually related somehow to each other. <laughs> That's all fascinating. Parasocial. Um, like, okay. Uh, Kaliu, did you, did you see um, any of my stream on Sunday with Claire Pix? So I've met Claire Pix in person once before last weekend. And... Um, then last weekend, we sang together on stream for the first time. The first time I met her, um, I met her and one of her mods, who's another streamer, Subtracticat. And we all like to sing. So we all sang together, but not on stream. <clears throat> but we all felt like we knew each other better than we actually know each other because all three of us stream and so we had seen each other on video and heard the other person's voice, but it's an imbalanced relationship. Like when I'm at Claire's stream, I'm one of hundreds of people in the chat having the experience of watching her stream and typing in the chat, right? But she doesn't know me in the same way that I know her. Um, because I'm watching her stream all the time and she has, she has seen my stream as well. So she, and she already, she knew what I looked like, right? Between Twitch and, um, having met me once before in person, but it's an imbalanced relationship where we feel like we know somebody better than we actually know them. So that's a, like the parasocial relationship is the relationship between a YouTuber and their followers or a twitch streamer and their followers but then there's this other layer of like between twitch streamers and other twitch streamers but but I watch Claire's stream more than she watches my stream so it's more like oh, it's it, parasocial relationships are complicated and I, I invented a new term while I was singing with Claire because she said it feels like we've practiced together and we hadn't. And I said, it's been parasocial practice, because I've been listening to her sing for years, and singing along at home. And she sings the harmonies when she uses her looper. And so I've gotten to practice with her a lot, but she wasn't aware that I was practicing with her at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, we, we do get to know each other in a way, 90. But it's not the same as seeing somebody's face and hearing somebody's voice. Like sometimes it's, just, I don't know, it's just different. And also she can't possibly know all of her followers on the same level as they on, in the same way, like, it's just different. It's a, it's an Im imbalanced relationship. And it is what it is, you know, like, we just have to figure out, like, and then how do we, how do we navigate it? And how do we be polite and respectful and, and have actual friendships, but they're parasocial friendships. So like, what, what are the expectations around, and the boundaries around all of these things? And I'm pretty sure that I don't get it right all the time. <laughs> So I hope that when I don't, people will tell me probably they won't. Probably they'll just say nothing. 
and be kind and say, oh, that's too bad that Alex doesn't understand the boundaries of parasocial relationships. Um, but then again, that's probably also just a factor that's the same thing as me being awkward in a regular social relationship because I'm socially awkward and that's just fine. Kaliu mi parolas tro rapide. Kai mi pardon petas pro tio. Sed viraitas chiam paroli en esperanto chitie ne gravas kiun lingvon mi parolas. It, um, Everybody is always welcome to use whatever language they feel most comfortable with if it's a language that I understand um, and or my mods understand. So it's it's all good. Um, I've been putting things off uh, in terms of this song because I'm a little scared because it's brand new. It kind of moves from parasocial to real friendship when you talk more outside of stream, exchanging personal stories. Yes, it's true. <laughs> My English is fine. It's a little fast sometimes. The thing is, I speak Esperanto faster than I speak English. And I'm curious, Kaliu, do you speak Esperanto at the same speed as your Spanish? Um, I think most people who speak Spanish and Esperanto probably speak it at the same speed because... Um, Nighty, you're a friend. You're a friend. Like I was just saying, I, I feel like, I feel like I've met you IRL, but I haven't. And it's my brain tricking me because I feel like our relationship is real friend because we get in each other's DMs in a very equal way. I think like it's, it's not, we're, we're, both doing music on the internet and we have things to talk about and we have things that we have in common and stuff like that. Back to the Spanish Esperanto and English Esperanto. I think Spanish and Esperanto are similar in the density of meaning per syllable. What the heck is Alex talking about? Um, every language, this is, this is a theory, every language communicates meaning at approximately the same rate. Some languages require more syllables to do that than others. English has a very high number of one syllable words. Spanish and Esperanto have more syllable words than English does uh, on average. So a Spanish speaker says more syllables per second or minute or whatever unit of time than an English speaker on average and they're communicating at the same rate of speed but there's more syllabic density if that's a term. So I think that that is why I speak Esperanto faster than I speak English on average. There's always times when I I'm speaking faster or slower for a particular reason, but it takes a lot of focus to change your rate of speed. Sometimes I am a faster speaker. Also, I heard that Spanish is the fastest spoken language, partially because it has a lot of syllables. Um, now, here's a language that I don't have a lot of experience with. Hawaiian has a lot of syllables, but somehow I don't imagine, I haven't heard a lot of spoken Hawaiian. Very little. As a matter of fact, some, but very little. Um, I don't think of Hawaiian tractor. I don't know how to say, do I know how to say tractor? Tractor. <laughs> how do you say tractor in Spanish? I forget. Um, I don't think of Hawaiian as a mitrala. Help me here. What's mitrala in English? Um, I don't think of Hawaiian as a very fast language. But I could be wrong. Um, there could be outliers to the general theory of meaning being communicated at the same rate of speed. 
no matter the language, no matter the syllabic density of the language. These are the nerdy things that we get to talking about in between songs. I'm going to play a song now. <clears throat> um, Verene Koninda, Mitralo, Machine Gun. Yes, but Mitrala, in terms of describing the way a language is spoken, how would we say that? At the rate of a machine gun. <laughs> Well, sometimes some expressions just don't translate that well, I suppose. Thank you. Dan Juan Verene Coninda. Um, and Nighty, thank you for being here for the debut of this ABBA song. Because um, I'm, I'm scared and, and I'm glad you're here for support. Um, a, a tune, Talking Like a Machine Gun. Um, Makes me think of spitting bars for some reason. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about things we've gone through, though it's hurting me. Now it's history. I've played all my cards. And that's what you've done to Nothing more to say No more haste to play The winner takes it all The loser's standing small Beside the victory That's her destiny I was in your arms Thinking I belonged there I figured it made sense Building me a fence Building me a home Thinking I'd be strong there But I was a fool Playing by the rules The gods may throw the dice Their minds as cold as ice And someone way down here Loses someone dear The winner takes it all The loser has to fall it's simple and it's plain Why should I complain? But tell me, does she kiss? Like I used to kiss you Does it feel the same When she calls your name? Somewhere deep inside You must know I miss you But what can I say? Rules must be obeyed The judges will decide The likes of me abide Spectators of the show Staying low The game is on again A lover or a friend A big thing or a small The winner takes it all I don't want to talk Because it makes me feel sad and I understand You've come to shake my hand I apologize If it makes you feel bad Seeing me so tense No self-confidence 
but you see, the winner takes it all. 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 This song is hard to end. It just kind of stops if you don't have like the backup singing and all of that sort of thing. The fade out button. <clears throat> um, I'm glad the song's on my list. I'm looking forward to feeling more confident with it. That will take time. Thank you for all those emojis. Kaliu, um, if you were singing along at home, I love that. But please be aware that that song is a song that is sung in a different key in a guy's voice. So it was the wrong key for you. <laughs> um, please do not Please do not judge your voice based on the key that I chose to sing that song in for my voice, because that was probably not the right key for your voice. But I love that you were singing along if you were singing along. Um, okay, I'm going to click that song as played. Please feel free to make requests. I understand the words, but not the singing. Uh, the meaning. Okay, I will give an example because I don't think the problem, oops, I think the problem is just musical and not, um, and not linguistic. So, um, I started out, I don't want to talk, but, um, I can change how I start the song I don't want to talk about the things we've gone through, though it's hurting me. Now it's history. This is a different key, so more like it's lower. It's I started lower. Water. It was, it was just the very first time ever, water. It was not the last time ever. Um, it was definitely not the best time ever. But I come on, Alvi. Um, actually, I think that this key might be a better one. I've played all my cards. And that's what you've done too. Nothing more to say. Oops. Nothing more. Hello? G minor? Oh, nothing more to say. No more is to play. The winner takes it all. The loser's standing small. Beside the victory, that's her destiny. We're doing this again in a different key, just because nobody's requested any other songs. I was in your arms, thinking I belonged there. I figured it made sense, building me a fence. Building me a home Thinking I'd be strong there But I was a fool Playing by the rules The gods may throw the dice Their minds as cold as ice And someone way down here is someone dear the winner takes it all the loser has to fall 
It's simple and it's plain Why should I complain? But tell me, does she kiss? Like I used to kiss you Does it feel the same When she calls your name Somewhere deep inside You must know I miss you But what can I say Rules must be obeyed The judges will decide The likes of me abide Spectators of the show Always staying low The game is on again A lover or a friend A big thing or small the winner takes it all I don't want to talk cause it makes me feel sad and I understand you've come to shake my hand I apologize if it makes you feel bad Seeing me so tense No self-confidence But you see The winner takes it all The winner takes it all I like it in that key better. I'm going to save that and put it in my notes. Details. Nope. Edit. Yes. Edit. Bam. No. Oh. No, I did it wrong. No. Oh. I've done all the things wrong. Okay. Copy that. And paste it there. Like that. Yes. Okay. I did it right. All right. Water. Tell us stories. I want stories, please. I'm going to sip on my coffee and look forward to a story. Put something in the queue if you all like. Otherwise, you're just leaving me free to go rogue the whole time. My goodness. Um, you never know what you're going to get when the streamer goes rogue. Thank you for those claps. I am so glad that um, we wound up investigating that because I just kind of took for granted. I didn't think about the fact that I have the choice of what key I sing it in. And it's it's not that I can't sing it in the original key. Um, it's that I need to be better, <laughs> better warmed up and more confident to like, I have to be able, it's hard to sing high quietly and I have to feel confident to make a certain amount of noise and there are other people in the house and I just don't love to do that. Song list, y'all. Does that go along with um, Claire's new howdy emote? <laughs> Song list, y'all. Close the window instead of switching windows. There's an unclosed tab. There's an unclosed tab button. What does it look like? Let me think. Nope. Nope. Okay. It is. 
control shift T um, is reopen the tab that you just closed. Tips from streamer. It could, I mean, howdy y'all. I love it. Guys, I went to Texas for the first time in years last week um, to spend some time with a family member. And um, I also got to stream with Claire. Whoa. And see a friend that I had not seen in decades. We're talking o we're talking almost 30 years. A friendship that has lasted not seeing each other in person for almost 30 years. How many friendships in the world are there like that? Well, that was a good weekend <laughs> getting to see Claire and a very old friend. Let's see. Oh, suddenly I'm in Claire Pick's song list. I'm like looking at it going, 25th Annual Putnam Spelling Bee? What? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> no, I do not know that song. <laughs> no, it is not likely to go into my song list ever. <laughs> Not that I have anything against it. It's just, you know, I have to, I have to know my limits. Um, even when it comes to musicals, I can't learn them all. All right. Um, so I was trying to learn some songs from Claire's list and I put them on there and some of them have not been played still officially um, but I'm going to try The Hero of Canton um, because I sang that with Claire and it was so much fun um, um, this is from the TV show Firefly All right, now I'm going to try capoing up on this because it was, it was a little, it was a little low for me. Oh, I haven't unpacked my capo yet. No, it's right here. Whew. Whew. Jeez, bon appetit on Kaliu. Okay, I do have a capo. Yay. Yay. Oh, yeah, that was an oops. <laughs> I mean, it was appropriate to the song, but not appropriate to Claire's stream. Capo 3 is much. Maybe we go Capo 2. Ooh. When I put the Capo on... All of a sudden the tuning goes to heck. a scroll again and he gave him what for our love why is it lower i've i've capoed up and i've gone down an octave all right we'll figure this out hang on stop you auto scroll stop stop wait all right um 
Also, there's slash chords here. What am I going to do? I'm going to ignore the slash chords. J, 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 the man they call J. He, oh, let's go back on. he robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor, stood up to the man and he gave him what for, our love for him now ain't hard to explain, the hero of Canton, the man they call Jane. Now Jane saw the mother's mother's backs breaking he saw the mother's lament he saw the magistrate taking every dollar and leaving five cents so he said you can't do that to my people you can't crush them under your heel Jane strapped on his hat and in five seconds flat he stole everything boss Higgins had to steal. Now, here's what separates heroes from common folk like you and like I. The man they call Jane, he turned round his plane and he let that money hit the sky. He dropped it onto our houses. He dropped it onto our yards. The man they call Jane, he stole away our pain and headed out for the stars. There's got to be more than that. We do another chorus. He robbed, he robbed, wait. He robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor Stood up to the man and he gave him what for Our love for him now ain't hard to explain The hero of Canton, the man they call Jane All right, well, I've messed up my tuning by futzing with the capo Also, I had some balance issues. <laughs> I hope that I didn't blow your eardrums out. Um, I'm experimenting with using my nails instead of finger picks or a plectrum. I could have played that with the, with the felt plectrum, which I think would have been a good choice. Um, let me just make a one tiny experiment here. I think that song would sound fine with the felt plectrum. I'm going to make a note. Um, first, I need to copy the tabs into my comment. And I'm going to put the plectrum note in the capo section. Hopefully I'll see it there. All right, I'm doing something new. I'm putting, oh, hydration. Yes, good idea, Nightbot, thank you. I'm putting on on all the new songs, I haven't like gone through and edited all the old songs, but on new songs, um, and whenever I think of it, when I'm playing a song, I'm putting the tabs, the link to the tabs in Ultimate Guitar or Yuku tabs or wherever it is, I'm putting it in the comment section. That's mostly because I saw Claire do it and I think it makes it easier for you all to find the tabs if you want to read the lyrics along with what I'm doing. I enjoy that because I like singing along at home with other streamers. So when I'm watching another streamer, if I go into their streamer song list, if it's easy for me to find the lyrics, 
that I sing along or even grab my ukulele if I can see the tabs right there or a link to the tabs that's easy for me to click on and find. Um, so yeah, um, coffee is not exactly hydration, but I did want to drink the coffee before it gets too late in the afternoon. It's already 417 where I am because we are now on Eastern Daylight Time and this may be the last, maybe, hopefully, the last time we change to Eastern Daylight Time, I think they are talking about not changing back and forth all the time anymore, which I think would be a great idea for lots and lots of reasons. I think they have the wrong idea about which time to switch to, frankly. But I think it's better to pick one and stay with it, even if you pick the wrong one. Just pick one and stay with it. Um, fingers crossed that we'll stop this nonsense of switching back and forth all the time. It would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Absolutely. All right. Click that is played. Um, so I just did, um, since, uh, nobody is requesting anything, I'm kind of looking through my new stuff and trying to think about what I might want to give a try, um, which might involve like actually looking at the tabs, some of which I don't even have yet. Some of these things I just typed the title and added them, <laughs> even though I didn't take the time in the stream. Latency, oh no, oh no. I've got zero dropped frames, but I don't know what my latency is. Oh, you're on mobile. I forgot that you had mentioned you were on mobile. Um, so as I was going through Claire's song list to see what do I know that I could, or know ish sort of that I could contribute to, I put some of them on my streamer song list because I thought there's, I know these enough to be able to give them a go. But I didn't necessarily take the time to actually set it up um, with the tabs and everything. So, um, let me look at transposing this. Um, I feel like trying this, but I feel like trying this transposed a bit. We shall see. Not on mobile, on the iMac. Oh, all right. Um, I, mm, adding to Q. All right. More ABBA on the playlist someday. Um, I would like that. Yes, I would like that. I don't have any specific plans yet, but Nighty mentioned a song, which I've already forgotten what the name of it was. Um, maybe... Tita. All right, let's just let's just look that up real quick. What the heck? Okay, um, that's a finger picking song. If I ever saw it, I. <sighs> 
I have never seen tabs written out like this. I Learning to read these would be an enormous level up. Um, and learning to play it, another thing entirely. Um, this, you guys, I have to show you this. This is hilarious. I, 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 I can't, I can't keep this to myself because just looking at this is mind boggling. Um, let's see if I go here and I make this that okay all right so check this out um mississippi finger style which you know i don't know what that is yet but um in the tradition of mississippi john hurt awesome um you have to scroll all the way down all the way down all the way down all the way down to see what all of these little symbols mean it's like playing a roguelite dungeon crawler do you guys ever play rogue light ascii art dungeon crawler games um maybe most uh modern version would be dwarf fortress before the graphical graphics update um <laughs> that's what this looks like to me and no I don't know how to read it but we have a key here the plus is an eighth beat the s is a 16th beat beat it doesn't say what the c is oh that's a chord that's a c chord right there so at least we know that's a c chord but why am I out of tune again you're you're looking at a version three on ultimate guitar scroll up G, K, D, da. version three ah this is what i'm used to the heck is a c sharp minor oh i see that's a very difficult chord for me um Okay, we're going to transpose it until we find something that's easier. Lots of bar chords there. Um, this one looks doable. Transpose down to... I don't know this song at all, so I'm looking at this. This does not mean I'm going to play this today. Um, but I can put it on my de deactivated part of my song list so that I can have access to it. I'm going to copy it there and then I could just stick a capo on it so that we can harmonize someday. Um, there's a simplify button. I don't need it when I've changed the, um, changed the key like that. All right. All right. Okay, good. We're going back here. Um, thank you, Nighty. I'm, I was, I, it was an interesting experience to be exposed to <laughs> tablature that looks like that. Um, good to know that this song has potential for growth <laughs> for me. I love it. Don't all songs. Um, songs, create new song. Chiquitita, ABBA. All caps. A active? No. Create. Uh, show inactive. Edit. Advanced. Paste the tabs. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to try. May it be. but not in the original key because I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just brand new to me. Okay. Well, on the other hand... <laughs> All 
sorry, it's just a rangy song is all. <clears throat> I, 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 drink, I, I, drink, I drink my drink. This is just me stalling. The chords are not complicated. Um, I've just never tried to sing it before. Um, no strumming pattern. We should do finger picking. Should we do finger picking? Should we do this? Uh, hello? On the re entrant ukulele? the re-entrant ukulele? So nighty, I have, I have one ukulele, my tenor, that I usually play for most things, that's strung with a low G string. Um, but my concert ukulele is strung in the traditional way with a high G string. Also, it's just, it's smaller, so it doesn't sit in the same place. Um, how do I choke up on this? Okay, I do that here. Just shorten it here so that you guys can see it better. Is my stream still live? <laughs> Just checking. So that's what it sounds like with the high G string. which I'm not at all convinced. I mean, I feel like since my tenor uke is a, a better ukulele, a more, I don't know, slightly more expensive ukulele that was a lot more value for money than my concert uke, I feel like I should go for the concert uke only when I have a song that really calls for the high G re-entrant tuning and I just wasn't sure whether this one was or not, so I had to try it with both, just to see. May it be an evening star Shines down upon you May it be Darkness falls, your heart will be true. You walk a lonely road, oh how far you are from home.
be the shadows call will fly away may it be you journey When the night is overcome, you may rise to find the There's a whole bunch of songs that I have avoided adding to my song list for technical reasons, just stream technology reasons. Um, I feel like this is one of those songs that I can't really do justice to in this much of a stripped down like acoustic grapevine but I need a little support a little tiny bit of reverb um just some songs I'm I I'm a believer in like having what it takes to back it up like not leaning on tricks to make things sound like something they aren't but Honestly, when it comes to presenting songs in as professional a manner as I am capable of doing, I feel like some songs are really not worth it in this kind of setup. And so since I really want to add that song to the song list, I feel like that kind of pushes me a little bit. I'm I'm at that point where I feel like there's a, a bunch of songs that I that I have wished for a long time were on my my list. It's not like I've got a whole like category of songs that I've already added to the list and they're just turned off until I can get the right um tech like to get you know the right setup to do the the things to the sound. But but still. Um, there are many songs that I could and would add to the song list, like this one. Like, I'm going to turn it off. I thank you for saying it was beautiful. Thank you for the emotes. Thank you for the lighter. I just don't think I can do it justice. Um, I think it's waiting on my next stream upgrade. Waiting is. (laughs) Um, and, and... And that's, that's normal and natural to have like a little bit of growing pains where we maybe like try something and then it's like, "Mm, maybe we weren't really ready for that. And that might be because of my playing. It might be because of my singing and it might be because of the technology. In this case, it was the technology. Um, Yes, water. Now we're going to hear the story of the ABBA song. (laughs) The winner takes it all. Um, I'm, I, I mean, that song was in um, 
an ABBA song movie? Yes. Yes. I was aware that it was, um, based out of that kind of a situation. I'm not going to try and read that out loud because my Swedish is still poop. <sighs> so both couples eventually divorced. Is that what we're saying? Ah. Uh, I'm feeling more confident with the last names than the first names, so this is getting harder and harder. I'm going to leave this to you guys to read rather than reading it all out loud myself. Um, there were no winners in the reality of the situation. That is fair. That is fair. Um... But the question is, who wrote the song? Did they write it together? Did one of them write it? Um, it's good. It's good when you can... He wrote it. Okay. Interesting. It's good when you can take a situation and make some art and... Um, Yeah, definitely big feels in that in that song. I I think it's a good one. I'm glad I'm glad that it is on my list. Um I'm going to take this song and No, that's the wrong way to edit it. <sighs> Let's try this way. Okay, we're deactivating May It Be for now. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make a note here that says needs reverb. Um, so that I'll know why it was that I deactivated it and all of that. I think... Um, I'm going to do one more song and then take a short break. Um, I am, let's see, three, let me see. I've played five songs. That's, that's perfect. If I had to play one more song and then I take a break, that's perfect. I'm not a hundred percent sure how many songs I'm going to make it through, but I think that's a good choice um, for me to do six before break. Um, and I am open to requests, but until such time as any requests appear, I am rogue. Um, and you all can stop me being rogue anytime you want to. That is something you have the power to do. Um, and, and I'm actually very happy to even like not do the thing that I, that I chose if somebody would prefer that I do something else. Instead, it's just that there haven't been any other requests. So, um, y'all can head me off at the pass if you, if you're feeling it or if you're not feeling a particular song. So let's see here. Uh, request. Did that work? It did not work. Oh, do I have the, did I fix those tabs? Did I fix them? Let's check. Please tell me I fixed them. I did not. All right. So, um, I am looking for the piece of paper that has those tabs. And since I just got back from a trip, Oh, I found them. 
I was thinking things are a little like um, I got a pile on top. I had a pile of things on top of this. So here we go. And this is what I'm working from, handwritten by my friend Amanda. Oh wow. Wow. That's a beautiful story. That is a beautiful story. Okay. I need to change my light just a little bit um, in order to see this piece of paper. That doesn't do terrible things to my stream. It's not great, but it, we can live with it. It's not terrible. All right. What the heck is F minor? I think it's... I, I think it's three fingers in not very convenient places. Let's let's look that up. Uke chord F minor. A that. Okay. All right. Yes, yes, okay. So Constellatio has requested Dan con Amico. Um, this is one of the wonderful songs in Esperanto that doesn't show up um, online in the wiki for all of the Esperanto songs. Um, and that wiki do, does tend to have pretty much only lyrics and not the chords. So um, that is why Amanda wrote this out for me by hand. She learned it from the composer. Um, so sometimes it goes mouth to mouth that way, hand to hand. Um, or mouth to ear. How do you say that? Um, yes. Yes, I had heard that. I had forgotten that. Water. All right. Another song with big, big feels. Um, I'm going to try finger picking. Dan con amico profi aritet Chi un vitoni salmi sen pet Cae mi ne comprenis De chi e venis la motiv Dan con amico profi avort Chi utoni salmi plita fort Por forrigi premoin Cae solvi la problemoin De la Mina companos via amcis la fido de mi avo in i mal proximen iros iam set aure vivos ni a joy Mina companos mia amcis la fido de mi avo in i mal proximen iros iam Set out a vivos ni a joy. Chion bonan amic. Alvenas laticicio. Chion bonan amic. Vivu and Philip. Dan con amico profia con est Chi un ecpo 
lost the idea of fest sent us me regos harmony and me a Tan con amico provia sent Que you help us me and stretch a moment Charchi con mi restos Ech qui am vi estos Mil kilometro in Mina companos via am, gis la fido de mia voi, ni mal proximen ni rosiam, se daure vivos ni a joy. Vina companos mia am, gis la fido de mia voi, ni mal proximen ni rosiam, Sit down if he was near joy. She on 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 a meek Alvinus la disicio. Felicio, Gis Revi. That might have been the first time I've sung that song without crying. Trevoli, saluton. Kiel chio chevi. Tuni vidos nin si somere. Chu eblos teorie. Mi ancora ne faris mi ain somere in planoin. Mal kiel iwi chitie, kiwi tre rapide. Organizas chion pri voyajado. Mi mal pli organizi jas. Um, big feelings for me in that song. Um, I mentioned that my friend Amanda wrote the lyrics out for me. Um, she is like my sister from another mister my esperanto sister and we live too far away from each other and this song is about when when you have a friend who makes your life better in ways that you don't understand how or why, but they do. And the love that is between you exists even when you are a thousand kilometers away from each other. Um, and that's something that is uh, a, a cultural problem for Esperanto speakers because many of us are very far away from each other because it's an international language. And so uh, we see each other, you know, sometimes, but not often enough. Stretching time. Yes, I'm going to take an actual break and do a real stretch. So I'm going to mark that as complete when I come back. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I guess I don't get to count that song as sung without crying because here I am. 
Um, but it's a feeling that I'm sure a lot of people can relate to. Um, I love that song. It is beautiful. Thank you for the hugs. I am going to take um, a short break. I, I have plenty of hydration. I don't need to get another cup of tea or coffee or anything like that. I have hydration. I'm just going to take a short break to move about the cabin and stretch my legs and potty break. Um, and we will come back and I will try. Tell me on a Sunday. Um, what is up with me and the the sad songs right now? I'm singing too many of those. So if you want some not sad songs, please put them in the queue. Um, I'm I'm going to try to do another six songs, but I'm already quite tired given that I only slept five four hours four hours last night. Um, but um. Water is perfect time to restart the phone because I'm going to be doing nothing in between. So I'm going to be BRB screen here. Me, BRB screen. Um, that's neither English nor Esperanto, but uh, there you have it. <laughs> Words are hard. I will see you all very shortly. Quick BRB. I'm, um, I'm going to push the, I'm going to push the, uh, add button. Uh, haven't done that in a while, but I'm going to do it while I'm on BRB. So that's a, that's a three minute, um, ad break, uh, FYI, uh, you won't miss a thing. I promise. Hello. I think we might be back from ad break. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I won't start a song immediately until I feel a bit more confident. I love it. I love it. Thank you, water. Mm. A very tasty hydration. Oh, 
jetting door. Okay, um, I am curious if any of you, um, so the, the reason I've taken a pause from running ads during, um, during my BRBs is, uh, that for a while Twitch was running a lot of ads for that wizard game and I didn't necessarily want to, uh, voice that on anybody, um, was having any feelings about that <laughs> so for a while I wasn't pushing that um run three minute ad button um so I'm just curious if any of you saw an ad did any of you see an ad for um for that video game um I think probably it's the newness of it is a little bit less now and maybe Twitch might be running some more different ads instead. I certainly haven't seen an ad for it um, in a while, but I do tend to spend most of my Twitch watching time uh, in places where I have a sub um, because those are my very few favorites, of course. Um, so that's just my little explanation and um curious question so i will try these songs on the song list here do i have tabs for this i do okay i'm gonna try moving these because we're trying to get organized okay it goes here i push the edit button yes that's not the right edit button okay i cannot edit it right now that's fine. That's Ooh. fine. We'll do it a different way. Do not love the way this is. I'm going to look it up under guitar tabs. Um. Nope. All right. I'm going with crummy tabs because better tabs do not exist for reasons. All right. Don't write a lot. Oh, hang on. I have to figure out what key this actually is in. B flat. Something's going wrong in between the ukulele and my brain, and I will figure it out momentarily. There's something wrong with the chords written here, though. I'm going to go to the chorus and see if that helps me figure it out. Mm -hmm. 
I did not expect to be having this challenge right now. It's wrong. I can transpose this. This is the problem. I think I played it in C before. Okay. This is good. This is good. We're doing it in C, but we're going to capo one. Where's my capo? Exclamation mark. Capo. Tell me on a 
someday, please. I could, I could keep a up one. We're going, we're going up one, just for the last chorus. <laughs> Don't want. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> no, I can't figure it out anymore. Help. <laughs> Now I've messed everything up. Don't want to know who's to blame. It won't help knowing. I don't want to fight day and night. But enough you're going. Don't leave in silence. With no words at all Don't get drunk and slam the door That's no way to end this I know how I want you To say goodbye Take me to a park That's covered with trees Tell me on a Sunday, please. Okay, so um, those tabs don't exist on guitar, uh, whatever that was I was using, <laughs> and I'm not familiar with this website so a little messy but I'm trying transposing it live in Kitboing 2 I don't think that's yeah that's Pl transposing it 5 and capoing it 2 is enabling me to have something that works for my voice and something that works in terms of like the chords not being too terribly hard the transition from a sharp to d sharp and back is an like a level up for me but um i think that's what i should copy and paste into that song in my list <sighs> because for now that's the best we can do details nope I want edit um, transpose 5 capo 2 it's, that sounds like a big mess, but that's what works. Korako, saluton, bon venon. Mi havas pakajon, kiun mi povus malfermi dum la tuil sendo. Au ne, tio estas via elekto. Mi shatus malfermi jin dum la tuil sendo set. Lau vi. Um... I'm going to play the sound of music for water. When the heck? Okay, I last played this three years ago. That's a long time ago. Um, the link to the tab is no longer in existence. We will try again. Again, some stuff ain't there. Edelweiss is there. Oh my gosh. This song has 24 chords. I, I, I can't play that version. Ah, uh, that's a lot of chords. That's tablature. I cannot read that. We're going to find it. We're going to find something. 
that's sheet music. Um, that's not the right song. <laughs> Uh, that's a song that references the right songs, but song, but it's not an appropriate song for this stream. Crazy. Xander, hello. Good to see you. I am trying to find tabs for a song I haven't played in three years, and my tabs are out of date and no longer in existence. Um, we got a whole bunch of options for Edelweiss, for my favorite things, but... The Sound of Music itself. Okay, let's go back to the one that has... Oh wait, this isn't... This one with the 24 chords? It's... It's in Swedish. Is it the right... It's the right song. It's just in Swedish. <laughs> and it has so many difficult... Let's try let's try simplifying it. Okay, that's better. This is crazy. There's got to be an option in English. I'm going to keep looking for a second. Cuz yeah, 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 yeah. This will work. This will work. This has only 10 chords. Much more doable. Let's just do a really quick um, roll call for these chords. I like to uh, just make sure that they're all under my fingers. The B flat minor is making me confused because it's only in one place. <sighs> Bone coracomi faros post tiu chi canto. All right, we're gonna try this. I'm a little like e, a little e. That's a technical. I'm feeling <laughs> if you know what I mean by e. <laughs> okay. but I can get the whole thing on one page yay that's a win This is too low. Do I go up an octave? I don't want to go up an octave. We're going to get the capo out because I don't want to go up an octave. Let's try capo three. The hills are alive with the sound of music With songs they have sung for a thousand years The hills fill my heart with the sound of music My heart wants to sing every song it hears my heart wants to beat like the wings of the... There's like 
a whole bunch of chords missing here. They just have B flat the whole time. I, this is not the simplified version. I don't understand. Uh, my heart wants to beat like the wings of the birds that rise from the lake to the trees. My heart wants to sigh, sigh like a ch I gotta figure those chords out someday. Chime that flies from a church on a breeze to laugh like a brook when it trips and falls over stones on its way to sing through the night like a lark who is learning to pray i go to the hills when my heart is lonely i know i will hear what i've heard before why b flat minor why my heart will be blessed with the sound of music and i'll sing once more i think although 24 is a lot of chords we could have done with a few more than 10. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a link to both this and the one that had 24 so that I can put them together when I do as Nighty suggested, make my own account in guitar tabs or whatever it's called so that I can edit my own stuff. Um, so let's see, I go to the queue, I say, play that, I go back to songs, I say, sound. Oh, it, w wait, it's free to it, I need to do it. But why is it that, okay, somehow water requested it, but it's not on my list. Water, did you like t do a type in request? Is that a thing? <laughs> I mean, if anybody can do something, it's water because water has lots of permissions. But what? Um, why can't I find it? In order to edit it. I don't get it. It is in your list, but it's not showing up when I... Nothing. Ugh, this is very frustrating, and this is not the first time this has happened in this stream. Very interesting. Um... I don't get it, but I have two tabs open with the 10 chord version, which is insufficient, and the 24 chord version, which is overkill. And I'm gonna cobble something together eventually, even if that means making a new version of the song in my song list and dealing with the fallout and uh, deleting the other one when I find it. Okay, so you guys, um, I got, I got, I got a package, I got a package to open on stream. Because Korako sent me a package because he knew I had this book and I'm really enjoying this book. This book is the new textbook for Tokipona in it's it's a it's an esperanto language textbook it's it's a 
Tokipona for Esperanto speakers. I already had the Tokipona textbook, the version of this same textbook that's for English speakers. This has a few more things in it that the um, English version doesn't, but I never really got into it. Like I opened it a few times and I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, very interesting. And I looked at a few things online. I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, very interesting, but I never really got into it. And, um, I've done a lot of exercises from this book and I've really enjoyed it. And we got into a lot of discussions, um, about Tokipona and, and opened a channel in the discord, uh, uh, for like sharing links that had to do with Tokipona and, um, also just conversing in or about Tokipona and Korako sent me a package Oops. that I can open now. So Tokipona, for those of you who might not know, is a constructed language um, that is minimalist. It has... I mean, what's the official number of words? I want to say 130, but, but 120, okay, 120 words, but this is an English Tokipona dictionary. It's amazing to receive a package. So, um... The word in Tokipona for consulting this grammar book is poo. And the word for consulting this dictionary is ku. Am I correct? It's proper thick, right? For, for a minimalist language. It's shocking how many pages this thing has. But it, that's because it's explaining how to say various English words in Tokipona. Um... So these are ways of saying certain things that we say in English using Tokipona words based on what is commonly done in the Tokipona community. This language is 20 years old, almost 21 now, um, and... Um, the book has a frequency index. It specifies which words are part of that original list of 120 or whether they are some new words which have been added to the language since it began 20 years ago. A lot of the entries are entire phrases. So... The thing about Tokipona is when there's just 120-ish words, you have, let me back up for a second. When you are translating from any language into any other language, step one is understand what it is that you are trying to say. It's not enough to know what the word is. You have to really understand what it means. And there is nothing like trying to break something down to its most basic to get you to understand what it is. Um, it's like trying to explain a concept to a five-year-old. If you can't break it all the way down to its most simplest, do you really, really understand it at the most fundamental level possible? So that's part of the, the intrigue behind... Um, behind the language and it goes it goes in both directions so it has phrases in tokipona like pansui which could be cake or cookie or pie um i had never heard the phrase pansoweli for sandwich isn't soweli a cute animal how how is pansoweli a sandwich 
Am I wrong about what Soweli is? Let's look up Soweli because I have maybe forgotten. Soweli. Yeah. Animal, land mammal, deer, creature, dog, cat, llama, goat, beast, Mustaloidiae, lion, pig, capybara, wolf, horse, mouse, tiger, hominidae, large domesticated animal, monkey, procyonid, I do not know what that word means in English, rabbit, oh, so well he includes, okay, so in Esperanto we have two distinct words for an animal and the meat of the animal. And we do also in English because of the juxtaposition that time when we had um, things that were more Germanic and things that were more French based. And the mix of those two cultures in England at the time was the ruling class was French. And so and and the working class was English. And so the Germanic words were the words for the animals as they were being raised by the farmer and when they were on the plate being served to the upper class then the word for it was the French based word so we have pig and pork we have cow and beef um, but in Esperanto we just have the word for the animal and then an ending that we add to that word which is aj so we have bovo for cow and the ending aj bovajo is beef french overlords deciding things and eating things um this is so exciting because this unlocks a whole bunch of stuff for me it's the the phrases that I am not I'm not so familiar with. So seeing the way words are combined into phrases to communicate certain concept concepts is exactly what I need at this point in my learning. Um, beautiful. I, I'm like so excited by this book. It's so big. It has so many things. Kato katajo. Theoretically, yes, water, but I have literally never seen that word before. But the beautiful thing about Esperanto is many, many times, most most of the time, if if there's a concept that you want to put across, it doesn't matter if somebody has never heard the word that you are about to say. If you put the word together out of the parts correctly, people are going to understand it. Yes, so as as we have learned in our uh, RimWorld playthroughs, there are some pawns in the RimWorld um, game that are... Uh, okay with eating homajo and others are not <sighs> um, and the other book in the package is Tokipona English micro stories I love two language um, texts for language learning um, Fingtam languages is a youtuber who was one of my students at NASC um, Yes, you are right. Araneajo is a spider web. Uh, I think because it's less common to eat spider meat than see a spider, but it's not unheard of to eat certain types of spiders. And if you think about it, crabs are kind of just spiders of the sea. So um, when I feel really grossed out about the idea of eating spiders, I just think, hey, I've eaten crabs before. Um, so these are short stories, and you've got the text in English on one, one side, and in Tokipona on the other. Um, and there's many stories. I 
love this. Every single page has a new story. And some of them are just a little bit longer and so they take up two uh, pages, facing pages. Omaro o marajo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for any of you who are curious about what does Tokipona sound like, my comprehension isn't perfect, but I can read it aloud. Cool to see that the stories are about the same length in either language. They're a tiny bit longer in Tokipona because um, it takes more words to say things in Tokipona than in English. And I'm pretty sure that since they are as similar as they are, I'm pretty sure that they worked very hard to, to find the most succinct way of saying something. So I'm going to try and find a short story. I mean, these are all short, but a short, short story. And maybe actually, maybe I can only read like maybe one or two paragraphs or something like that. Okay, um, let's do this. I'll read uh, a paragraph in English and then I'll read it in Tokipona just so you can hear what they sound like um, or how they compare with each other. Earth's Intervention by Andre. It was night, it was very cold, and Gabriel was running through the desert. The red walkers were getting closer and Gabriel could hear them already. This is it, he said. This is the end. Tenpo pimeya lete la yan kepie li tawa wawa lon ma pitelo ala. Akesi mun loye li kama lon poka. Yan kepie li yen kute e ona. Ni li pini a ona li toki. Suddenly he saw a blue light coming through the sand. He thought it was an alien weapon, and he began to stir up the sand as fast as he could. Then he felt a gravitational force that sucked him in, and he disappeared. On a lilukin e sunot lasso tan coma, pilin li yan kepie, la ona li ilo pi yan mun, ni la ona li tawa wawa eko, on a li pilin e wawa nasa tan ma li kama lon insa li weka tan lukin. When Gabriel woke up, he was on an alien ship. Some strange being spoke a language he had never heard before. One of them looked at him and said, Are you ready? Gabriel thought that something terrible was going to happen. Yan kepie li kama lon sin la ona li lo li lon tomo tawa mun. I yo nasa li toki nasa. Tenpo pini ala la yan kepie li kute e toki ona. I yo wan li lukin e ona li toka sina pona ala pona. Sona pi yan kepie la i yo ike li kama a. As I go along, I'm understanding more and more. Even though it's been a long time since I've refreshed my vocabulary in this language. However, these beings quickly explained that they had orders to free the planet Earth from the to free planet Earth from the Red Walkers, but to do this, they needed the permission of the humans. Why do you need the permission of humans? Gabriel asked. Taso iyo nili toki eni tawa ona Ona li kama tawa ma la ona li wile weka e akesi loye munta ma. Taso ona li wile e ken tan yan. Tan seme la sina wile e ken tan yan. Yan kepie li pana e wile sona. The beings explained to him that humans should express their agreement and their desire to remove the red walkers. Their orders required it to be this way. This paragraph 
is only one line in Tokipona. Iyoli toki e ni tawa ona, yan oken e pali ona, nili nasin pilawa ona. After a long conversation with the beings, Gabriel told them about human behavior and how humans themselves were responsible for the walker invasion, and that many of them cooperated and worked with them in the first place during the Martian Wars. Tokisuli pi iyomun lipini la yan kepie lipana isona lipana esona pinasin yat yan tawa ona yan likama e akesimun yan mute lipali lon poka ona lon utala mun. However, Gabriel and his family had been suffering for a long time, and this led him to cooperate with the beings. Gabriel prepared to go back to planet Earth with extraterrestrial help in order to get a consensus and protect the future of humanity. Taso yan kepie en kulupu mama ale ona li pakala lon tenpo suli. Ni la ona li wile pale lon poka pi iyo muni. Yan kepie li wile tawa ma lon tenpo sin lon poka pi iyo mun tawa ni. Ona li ken sona e pilin yan li ken awen e yan ale. The end. <laughs> um, that's what Tokipona sounds like. I'm not good at Tokipona. So apologies to those of you who know the language better than I do. But I did want to try and share what what the heck does this language sound like? Um, I'll show you that page. Uh, if I can find it again. So these were all written by various people, including by Fingtam. And I'm having trouble finding that page again, or I would show it to you. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Ook. Mm, there we go. That's not fully focused. It is not fully focusing. That's as good as we can get. I'm so excited. This is really awesome. Thank you so much, Korako. This is amazing. Um, and... The other thing I can show you is um, something that Constellatio sent me. That um, it's it, it's it's complicated. It's complicated, but um, this is a device to be able to warm up your voice, even when there's other people around. So I can make all sorts of noise by putting that over my face and and warming up and that is awesome because i hate making noise when it might bother other people um and so that was incredibly thoughtful thank you thank you so much to both of you um Xander, is this Italian? Yes, that looks like maybe Italian for Elena with a muting device. A mute, like, like, like a mute, like you would use on a horn, like a, on a trumpet or something like that. Is that, is that what Sordino is? Something like that. All right. How many songs have we sung today? Trumpet dampers. Yes. Yes. I guessed right. All right. We have had eight songs and I have a request for tea and a friend. And frankly, you guys, this might be, this might need to be our last song. My energy is fading super duper fast. Um, I only got four hours of sleep last night and I am feeling kind of cold and shaky, which is a sign for me I need to wrap it up. 
So I'm going to sing Tea and a Friend. Why is my stream being like my streamer song list being like this? My gosh. Um, I'm signed in, but nothing is working like it should. I can't even click on it to see anything. So I'm going to try and do a search to see if I can find the tab somewhere in the world, but I don't think this one works that way. It's, this is a song. No, this is not on any of those websites. Oh my gosh. Um, let me try signing out and signing back in again, because if I can't sign in, I'm not really sure how to get there. <sighs> There we go. It's better now. All right. All I had to do was sign out and sign back in. All right. Um, real quick, double, double check on something. Because I haven't played the song in a little while, so I've got to... Yeah, that's what I thought. Just check on that. Okay. Just doing a little um, roll call to see if all of the... Mm. No, one chord is not showing up for roll call. So we're going to go in search of the B7. Um... Okay. Like so. There's there's a variety of ways to play that, but I think we'll be good. Where'd it go? There it is. All right. <sighs> muting. Yes. Muting a sound or using a mute on your instrument. And water in Esperanto, the I-N ending is the feminine. Oh, did I do this as a bar chord? Did I? I don't think I did. I did not. your head your concentration is dead this deadline's got you stressing like mad just take a deep breath you'll get out of this mess i won't lie and tell and tell you it's not so bad but I can say a cup of tea makes your problems seem smaller. A cup of tea makes the cold feel warmer. It gives you strength to try it all again. You can do it with tea and a friend. It's been raining all day The clouds just won't go away Umbrellas don't help When there's such a gale You arrive in a huff I see that you've had enough I sit you down before you start to wail Up Put 
Hmm? What? Put the kettle on. A cup of tea makes your problems seem smaller. A cup of tea makes the cold feel warmer. It gives you strength to try it all again. You can do it. With tea and a friend. And there we have Tea and a Friend, which is by a lovely YouTuber who plays the harp named Christy Lynn. But she's so talented, she doesn't just play the harp. She also wrote this original song for ukulele and voice. Um, absolutely charming YouTuber. Highly recommended. Um, let me also, let's see, I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do something I haven't done before. I'm going to do two YouTuber shout outs. So I have to pull up their link for Christy Lynn. Um, did she change her? Stream title. Hmm. One second. Okay. Looks like she may have changed her stream title. So one second here. Um. Here we go. All right. Here we go. That's Christy Lynn. Um, and she is streaming how to learn to play the harp, um, which is super cool. And the other YouTuber that I want to share with you is Fingtam Languages, who uh, wrote this book right here. I mean, compiled and had translated the story. So I'm not sure whether all of the stories were originally written in English or whether some of them were originally written in Tokipona, but they're all, they've all been translated. Um, so they are all appear in both languages. And he has a channel that's for all languages, but then he also has a channel that's for Esperanto specifically. But I'm going to give you his general channel. Oh, I just done it wrong. Um, copy that and paste that there. Um, so he has language learning strategies and his stuff is really on point. Um, I highly recommend um, good stuff, good stuff. Um, so that's his general language learning channel, but he also, um, he also has an Esperanto only channel, which is right like that. Learning the derp lol. It, it, that sounds fun. I'd be into a channel about learning the derp lol. Alia libro edge korako? Mistsivolas koran antaudan kon? Wow. Um, so, have I done the things? Um, think that the next thing I do is I look for somebody to raid. I, th I think that's what comes next. Um, I'm, I, if I'm, if I'm forgetting something that I should be doing, please do let me know. Let's see. Um, those people have lots and lots of hundreds of hundreds of viewers. It's not where we want to go. Um, we want 
to rate a music streamer. Today, since we're in the music category today, that is true. He is aware. <laughs> Let's go hang out with our friend call sign scarecrow um, it's been a while since we've raided over there you will get both music and story time um, and so I think that's perfect um, I feel like that works. Let me remember to copy my very own raid call. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, thank you to my wonderful mods for helping me when my brain doesn't work and helping me do all the things and putting links and managing stuff and all of the things. I appreciate it so much. Thank you to the lurkers. Um, and I just um really appreciate the chance to work on music and try and gradually make improvements and um i think music is good for me so i i hope that um that you all feel like music is good for you too because we're gonna go listen to some more music call sign scarecrow maddie is incredibly talented um and I know you guys are going to enjoy it. He also has really great um, streamer side tech stuff going on in his stream. He's also a great artist. So that's just wunderbar. Um, so to, to butcher a, a German phrase. Yes, let's go see Maddie. I'm going to push the button. We're right now.